I'm joined now by wide receiver Corey Robinson. Corey, there's a lot of depth at wide receiver that we've seen in training camp so far this summer. So how is that going to evolve our offense this year? Yeah, I think um, one of the major key points that we've been working on as a receiving core is saying it's not just one man's job. You know, there's four of us out there, and, and we all have to contribute to be successful as a team. You know, it's, we're, the team's really counting on us to be successful. So we need everyone, and that means the twos and the threes even, to be able to kind of step up and make plays when they're called on. And Malik coming in at the starting quarterback, mm -hmm. what's it been like having him in the driver's seat so far this summer? You know, it's been awesome. Yeah, I've, I came in early with Malik, you know, so like I've been kind of waiting for him to have his opportunity to, you know, to shine and, you know, he's kind of taking it um, full head on. So it's awesome. You know, he's a great guy. He's a great quarterback and I'm, you know, I'm happy to have him back there. You were part of the group of athletes that studied abroad in mm -hmm. South Africa earlier this summer. So what was that experience like? You know what, it's hard to answer quickly, but it was, it was truly life-changing because, you know, we spent three weeks down there and we, we did everything, you know, from safaris to rugby matches. But most importantly, you know, we got to give back to the community and, you know, who's for hope and grassroots soccer. And it kind of just changed your perspective on what it means to be a student athlete and what you can do positively to impact communities around you and even worldwide. So that was just, you know, it was truly life-changing. You also took a trip to Tokyo before mm -hmm. training camp started. So how did that come about and, and what were you doing there? Well, um, we had, I think, like two weeks off, and my dad had the opportunity to go out to Japan. And, uh, you know, he asked if I wanted to come with him, so naturally I said yes. And me and Jesse Bon Jovi on my team, another guy, Andrew Hellman from the track team, went out there, and we met up with the Notre Dame Club of Japan, did some business trek, you know, met some different businesses out there, and uh, just kind of explored Japan. So it was a lot of fun. And we were talking to Joe, and he said that uh, you have some videos of him in your guys' late night jam sessions. Yeah. So anything we have to look forward to on social media coming up in the yeah. next few days? Absolutely, absolutely. I'm gonna do some editing. But uh, yeah, me and Joe just, Joe is just so talented. You know, he just kind of makes things up on the fly and he'll, like, whole songs. I'm not talking about like 20 seconds. I'm talking about like five minute songs. So uh, hopefully on Instagram or Twitter re late, late tonight, we'll, we'll have something out there for you guys. All right, thanks so much, Corey, and good luck this season. Thank you.